All right. Hello, everyone. I, I say hello, everyone. How y'all doing? Hey, hey. Hey. Good. There hello. we go. Hello. Hello. Uh, a little worried there for a second, but I think we're all good. Um, let me just shift this around just slightly. Here we go. So things aren't overlapping properly. I think we're good. Welcome to Saturday night. It's time to talk anime. Um, because we all like anime. We all, we all are kind of anime fans here and there. I was forced into it by a small group of, of, <laughs> of, of pigeons at, at a park one night. It's very odd. It's a very odd scene. Someday I'll tell you the story about how Craig Ferguson was once attacked by ducks in a park. Oh, well, he was high on LSD with the Doctor Who. Um, wow. Yeah, that's a story. Um, anyway. Love there's um, a sure. lot to unpack there. there um, <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah, this week was the, uh, our first week with my new class of students at work. And um, we always do an assessment where we basically um, have them take a quiz about, I teach software development, so we basically have them take a quiz about software development so we know how much they know. Um, and I always get to do the um, uh, time announcements, you know, 15 minutes to go, 10 minutes to go, five minutes to go. Uh, and so I decided, and this has become a routine, is that I say, um, this is, doom, doom, doom. this is a special announcement. There are 15 minutes remaining. Thank you. And then I say the same thing in Japanese. Ah. Um, which I have to look up, obviously. Um, and it's just enough to you know, people are like, okay, what, what? What did he just say? Wait, what? Um, <laughs> and then, did I suddenly go crazy? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, and then, of course, that led into a, so, Brent, why do you know Japanese? Well, I know anime. All right, floodgates open. You know, what do you watch? All that kind of stuff. All right, okay, well, maybe let's not discuss this in the middle of a quiz. But <laughs> <laughs> So do I need to adjust my camera, or am I going to, um, like, or can I just do, like, kind of the sink down? And I just have my eyes above the, the thing here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I thought for a split second, Brent, you were going to say that you know you you assess these people and you sit at a desk and you have a bell and you go, ding, ling, 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 ling. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Is it I safe? Wish. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. That Is it safe? Fun. Yeah, I and I know I could get some of my coworkers in to do the you know the band um but uh oh well that'd be awesome <laughs> all right so uh so tonight we're here to talk about tenchi forever it has been my dream for years to forever do a video pretty much forever <laughs> um to analyze this film because this is a film that has so little exposure um because it is the third tenchi film really only people who've ever seen tenchi get anywhere near this film and i think it deserves more exposure uh, because this is a really interesting film. Again, like I said, it's the third Tenchi Moyo franchise film. Uh, it was called Tenchi Moyo and Love 2. It's complicated. Uh, we've seen uh, the early Tenchi, some of the early Tenchi stuff. Um, JJ, I know you've seen, like, you've seen the original OVA, right? As yes. well as Tenchi and Love, right? And then OVA 4 for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I see things like sometimes out of context and out of order, <laughs> which leads me to kind of be a little. I'm. I'm. I am truly, indeed, lost in the Tenchi universe. Sure, the Tenchi verse. Yes, and that is totally understandable. Um, indeed. Um, speaking of, and I, I should point this out. Um, the Tenchi TV show is called Tenchi Universe. Tenchi Forever is in the Tenchi Universe timeline. It gets really confusing talking about Tenchi. You talk about the Tenchi Universe. Folks assume you're talking about all of Tenchi. No, we're talking about the. Te mm. Yeah. Um, Steve, I know you've seen a good swath of Tenchi as well. Yes, it's um, it's good God, I, I you know started with Adult Swim. I actually did not intend to watch it. I mm. it had no interest in it, and yeah. um, and then then I finally watched it on on, on television, and mm. on um, of course you know Adult Swim, and of course got hooked, got hooked onto it, and then of course t the the original Tenchi Moyo, and then the Tenchi U Universe one, the forty two mm. episode one came on, or was is it forty two or twenty six? Uh, it's it's. it's I think it's 26, but I'm not sure. 26. And I then, think that of was course, the one I watched, the 26 yeah. one. And then there was the Tenchi in Tokyo, which has one of my favorite episodes where his father's running around with a suction cup arrow going, love, 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 and then throwing the arrow. <laughs> and um, I've not seen that one yet. Yeah, <laughs> <a weird> <laughs> 
and 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 then at a certain then I think I I, I think I finished War and Gemini. I'm not mm. sure because okay. I, again I'm confused. And then there's was it uh, Tenchi GX GXP mm-hmm. GXP. That's right. And I started that one, and then yeah. that's where I just kind of went. Ow! <laughs> Ow! I mean, isn't GXP the stuff you put in people's uh. drinks? Oh, no. um, yeah. I think it's a different thing. Yeah, no. Okay. No. <laughs> 10 GGXB. It'll get you crazy. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it will, but for other reasons. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Deeply personal psychological reasons. Not chemical, <laughs> per se. Yeah. Uh, no, GXP, well, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I all day. Really it, right is, it is a complicated thing. Um, so I want to start by talking about what this movie is not. Because rewatching it, I, was re- I, I really realized how much, like, there's... There is no action in this movie at all. No. Um, there are like d- tense scenes of you know, you know brief chase scenes, but that's it. Um, there's some comedy, but it's very much occasional sort of goofy interstitial, and it very much feels like it's there kind of to relieve tension. Right. Um, but it's really this um, kind of it's it's a supernatural mystery, much like Grave of the Fireflies. See. Uh, Tenchi is, is like going to the Fireflies. Um, it's not. Um, but yeah, no, it's, you know, and so there's... I'll accept that because I respect you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, it's not. But... Um, <laughs> it's not. No, it's, no, no, no. It, it, no it's amazing, no. though, how... Um, it, it's also not expensive. <laughs> this movie does not have a high animation budget. Um, but it was, but it's not, spent, I mean, but it was it's not spent trash. on the flower. It's still good. It's, not, it's still Absolutely. good, but... It, but they spent it all on the flower when it quick, did a quick book. Oh, that, that was where the budget yeah, went. Yeah. Um, it's also interesting to see how this movie um, frames things, um, like how it shows you things and how it reveals you, things to you over time. Um, but yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, and it, it starts with, and, and again, I think it's, I love looking at movies for what they do because Tenshi Moyo, the first harem franchise, we all kind of know what we're going into. And we start with this like thirty second shot of a flower opening. Yep. We are very clearly in like art house film territory here, folks. This yeah. is you know very much not doing the kinds of things you kind of expect from a uh, from a Tenchi story. Um, Which I was trying to figure it out when I saw that. I'm like, I'm yeah. so not in the Tenchi universe. This has got to be significant. <laughs> I don't know what it means, mm-hmm. but it's got to be Tenchi important. Exactly. Um, um, which then fades into this, this gorgeous tree, um, and then a hand, and then the shot between these two characters. Again, I love how it kind of reveals things, because it's one of those things where if you don't know what the movie is coming in, and assuming you know some Tenchi, you see this character, and you're like, that's young Yosho. That's Tenchi's grandfather, and he's young, I think. And then, like, the second line, he, she, like, she says Yosho. She's like, yeah, Okay. Alrighty, we're we're doing this. We're looking into Tenchi's grandfather's history. Flashback time. Having, flashback time, exactly. And this tragic love. And uh, yeah, Captain Laser Eyes. It's a tragic romance movie, very much so, uh, in many ways. Um, uh, because we get this just this very sad scene. You know, woman in sick in bed. Um, very clear. This is not comedy material here. With no. this achingly gorgeous music playing. Oh, the guitars. Mm. Um, and then we move just into straight Tenchi nonsense. Yeah. Um, and it's Aika and Ryoko, you know, arguing and all that stuff. Um, uh, uh, and we get just all the classic stuff. Um, and it's, again, it's interesting what this movie is doing of very much setting up classic Tenchi, you know, Ryoko Aika arguing, sure, we all know that, and then it very quickly escalates into this idea of, no, 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 like, this is what we're talking about, right, like, this is very much the core of this movie, is the fact that these characters are constantly fighting, and is this really what Tenchi wants, is that, is this what they want? Um, well, if Tenchi would make a decision, right? Yes, then it would work out right. And this is the thing: is that Tenchi was almost a decade old at this point, and it had become kind of this running gag that Tenchi would never make a decision. And again, like, what is it? We're, we're three minutes in, and the, the girls are like, "Make a decision," right? And it's very remarkable, really. 
Because, um, I mean, think all of us who have ever watched a harem. Yeah. Typically, it doesn't ever result in no. any, like, concrete no. decisions. <laughs> you know, get to the end, and it's like, oh, I think I – oh, look over there. And then <laughs> you're like, just exactly. – you know, I'd be happy. Choose all of them. Yeah. That's perfectly viable. <laughs> to love Rue. You know, you've got a, a characters that are in there that are like, yeah, you know, if you're going to be the next, you know, king of the universe, mm. you have the ability to have everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's like I would keep waiting for that in Tenchi where it's like, mm -hmm. Tenchi, you're the you're the inheritor of the house of Jirai. You can have like 20 wives. Right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Like, just and, decide. <laughs> and actually, like the the, um, the Tenchi universe um, does make a point that like I think – Yoshu, well, no, in, in I think the OVA universe, uh, Yoshu has two wives, or the, the the no, the Emperor has two wives. The Emperor has two wives, yeah. and Sasami's mother yeah. is a concubine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think that's yeah, right. yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah. Um, so totally a, a, a deal. Um, and the crab, it was a drunken one night thing that never uh, <laughs> nobody wants to talk about. Exactly. No, 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 no. <clears throat> um, uh, but yes, and suddenly, um we get this really interesting moment again where Tenchi decides to run off from responsibility, in a way. Um, and it should be pointed out, one of the interesting things about Tenchi Moyo is that um, a lot of other harem anime protagonists are, like, completely spineless. Um, Tenchi is unusual in that he absolutely sticks up for himself and others. He just refuses to make a decision about this. Yeah. Um, because his, he doesn't, he's not sure, and he's, like, 15, right? Like, understandable. Um, but he wanders off into the forest, uh, and we get these, can we talk about, like, how gorgeous Tenchi's backgrounds are for a second? Like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about that today as I was driving home in the ice. Yeah. <laughs> this is why we don't like, drive like I ice, spend, do you? Like, well, you know, some of us, I, I have to work, and I have to, you know, pay for things, mm -hmm. and, you know. So that kind of works. So as, as I was driving, I tried, you know, spent 20 minutes scraping the ice off of my car and then getting in said car and then driving said car on 97 and and having the guys in the pickup truck with, you know, drunk cutting me off and me just in my little Hyundai POS. Mm -hmm. like, I want to be at Tenji Shinto Shrine. Please. <laughs> yeah. I would much rather be there than here. Yeah. Which, by the way, so, yes. is a real thing. Um, Tenji Shrine? Yeah, that is based on an, yeah. an actual real place you can go and visit in Japan. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, now, have they have they given in like Osai and had the, oh, you know the cardboard cutouts and stuff of Tenchi all over the place? Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, not, I'm sure not recently. <laughs> it's been yeah. a while, but uh, probably not. But yeah, um, and in fact, and not to get too deep, um, a lot of the stuff in Tenchi is based on um, uh, real places in the area. So like, there's a Mihoshi Observatory. Um, near there, oh, uh, and there are other okay. little things like that, and, like, I didn't know that. Cliff or something like that. Um, it's neat when I Tenchi Moyo came out. <laughs> Miyoshi's Cliff. Well, yeah. <laughs> Don't accidentally fall. <laughs> Washu's Cliff. Um, yeah. <laughs> Washu's Supercomputer Center. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, so yeah, so then he, he, he goes in, and again, if you've seen this movie before, you know exactly what's happening here, but it is very mysterious that there's just this flowering camellia tree. Yeah, um, and uh, by the way, I'm sorry, but the English voice cast really—I know they, you know, were doing their thing, but Ika is just—I was like nails on a blackboard. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, I love Ika. So I didn't yeah. mind, mm -hmm. but Ika, I, just, I was just—I couldn't get behind that yeah. voice. So what's the what? Go you, ahead. Brent. If you go back and watch the OVA, it's actually really interesting because when she starts playing herself, uh, when, when when she starts, she is much more royal princess. Yeah. in the first episode or two. And the voice actors talked about how she didn't realize that the character was comedic. And so she just played her straight. Uh, but then as the story went on, she realized, oh, this character is a foil. Like, she's she's ridiculous. And right. so she kind of upped it yeah. over time. But yeah. And for those of us who, who saw it first with the voice cast, this is what we hear. Right. And, yes, and, and, right. and I agree right. with you, but, you know, with the Japanese version, it's just like... <laughs> I'm sorry, the, the voice actor who does Tenchi, the English, I, I, I'm blanking on his name, but, you know, when I was watching the Japanese dub of this, and, and you know, I was just like, it's just not the same. Yeah. And I just I had to click over to the English yeah. dub. It's 
that's the um, voice I have to hear. Well, I'd like to find the uh, the Japanese version and yeah. watch that, and then mm-hmm. see what the comparison is, just for mm-hmm. curiosity's sake. Yeah. Um, yeah, I tried the original Tenchi OVA with a Japanese dub, and just I, it's it's I'm sure it's amazing. I just can't do it. Just didn't work. Uh, yeah, uh, work yeah. Right. gotcha. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and so then, and again, we get this, this, uh, this is what it does, where um, instead of, you only have so much time, and so what they do in the, in, in the story is he disappears, and then we jump six months later. Yeah. After all the worrying, after the aftermath, all that kind of stuff, we just jump. Um, because let's be honest, like, that's where the story really starts, if you will. Um... And so you get all these characters going about their business, trying to find Tenchi, and it's fascinating contrasting the mood. Everyone's serious. Everyone's suddenly just kind of trying to do their thing, except Mahoshi, who's a dingbat. Um, um, but even her piece of this is yeah. really very subdued oh, by, by comparison. It's like, yeah. yeah. When, when she messes up, it is, you know, Mahoshi messing up. It's not, oh my gosh, we got to change everything. Right. Um, you know, Sasami shows up on planet Jirai to, like, figure out what happens, which, again, kind of raises the stakes of, oh, this is something that, like, everybody knows about now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, and then you get one of my favorite moments in the entire movie, and it's almost a throwaway moment, which is Ryoko and Aika on the train, where <laughs> they're just traveling around, and, and Ryoko's just sitting there worried, and Aika is just sitting there worried, and they're together, and they're not arguing, and they're there to do the thing. Yeah. They didn't blow up the train this time like they did exactly. in the other movie. <laughs> and you have to wonder if that is, isn't a little bit of nod as well. Kind of, you know, right. Absolutely. Um, and, and, and again, you, know, you, you cut to them kind of looking up records, all this kind of stuff, and they're just chatting. They're just talking. They're just... You know, united in this this effort. Um, Whereupon you get I, okay. I, I think this is fan service. I got to admit, you know, Tenchi characters in um, um, family mart outfits. Yeah. Um, you know, not fan service in the in the, the etchy sense, but just like ooh, more outfits um, uh, with little bow ties. You know. Um, and again, we get to them just hanging out. You know, they have they have a room together. Aika and Ryoko are living together, and whatever. Um, yeah, I was trying to figure out. I'm like, you got instead of using the the house as the base from which you mm-hmm. got you sort of cast out and find out what's going on. It's like those two set out together. Yeah, and are are working literally working their way through the through the investigation, mm-hmm. so that what they're doing for a job is not anything to do with with any it's like they're, they're not undercover they're not doing something to like sort right. of hide no well, it's literally making money because they need to be in that place to track things down well and it's because like, you know they're hoping they're going to overhear somebody from some you know somebody saying something and a restaurant is the best place to be for that but yeah you know but i mean you know easily you could have gone okay we're going to go to sendai Mm-hmm. And we're gonna right. we're gonna walk all around the town. We're talking to all these people. Well, and then go back. It's like and, no, they go out. They're away from everybody. And this is the thing: is that the implication is that's what they've been doing, right? They've been hopping from place to place to place trying to find Tenchi. And so it could be they're gonna be here for the next month, and then if they don't find anything, they go back, you know, and they'll try something else. Um, it's yeah, it's really interesting seeing the the this implied journey they've been on. Yeah. Um, totally. Um, and the fact that it's just kind of, you know, it, in so many other Tenchi stories, and again, it's interesting kind of pulling Tenchi out of it, no need for Tenchi, ha ha ha, um, <laughs> is that, you know, they're lost, right? They have nothing to go on. Tenchi's just gone, and they're just running around trying to find him. Um, and it is just really kind of, kind of heartbreaking in a lot of ways. Um, and so then we finally get Tenchi waking up. Um, and again, <clears throat> just how this movie presents information, it's like waking up from a dream. You know, he's just waking up kind of groggy, looking around, looking at, at, at where he is. And because it's the audience doing the same thing as well. 
and he's getting exposed to this new environment. You're wondering what the heck is going on. Um, um, I did notice his futon cover reminded me of uh, Lum's. Lum. Oh, little tiger stripe. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, I'm just yeah. kind of looking at it. I'm like, is this an Orsay Yatsura kind of, kind yeah, of thing going on? Or yeah. what's going on with that? Funny. So. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think it could well be. Um, yeah, so and then just and, and again, it should be pointed out, everything in this scene is from Tenji's perspective, right? Like the camera angle is always facing up. Um, and you get this this this, this character. Um, uh, and she kisses him and he goes, Oh yeah, I remember you now. And you're like and every Tenchi fan in the audience is going, How oh, dare you don't right? Um, you can't take Tenchi away like that. Okay, but, well, you know what? I had the uh, every single time I've seen this movie, I've had the same response to that, which was Okay, finally. Mm-hmm. Finally. <laughs> finally. Yeah. You know, just, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. He, he just finally just said, and, okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, finally. He's chosen somebody. Absolutely. Somebody's chosen. And there we go. And we're good. And, and you know, and I'm like, well, okay. And, movie over. And, and, no. And then, yeah, movie <laughs> over. And then, the, you know, the thought comes, goes, it comes to, okay, when Ryoko finds her, he's going to come in this raider. So that's right. how the movie is going to go. Yeah. It's going to be over. A blood fest. No, um, but it's, it, you know, at that point, you just kind of, first of all, the first shock you get is Tenchi himself. Mm-hmm. When you see Tenchi himself. Yeah. And that's when you don't reckon, you don't recognize Tenchi. Mm-hmm. And you should, you see his face, but you don't recognize his face. He, the hair is long. Yeah. The hair is the, the kicker, really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're like, you're like, and, and you, if you've seen the other movie, the other Tenchi, um, Moyo and Love movie, you go, oh God, are we back in 1970s? Right, you know, and That's it's not, and it's not really. It's just whatever this temple place is, mm-hmm. and um, you know, he wakes up and, and he sees her, and then you finally realize that it is ten, that it is Tenchi, and that he has changed drastically. He's got, he's committed to a girl, mm-hmm. and it doesn't appear to be any, and he's living with her. That's the other part. Yep. yep. It's in in a room, and she's playing the wife. We don't know that they're married or anything, but. She's playing the wife role, and she's cooking him breakfast. And then she goes, "Well, you're going to be late for you know whatever." And you're just like, this, "Have this whole domestic scene that happens," and you're just like, "You're so used to Ryoko phasing through the wall, mm-hmm. smacking yeah. up Ayaka upside the head, the cat going meow meow, <laughs> the Sami being cute, and 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 Yosha going and you know the father." trying to get it all on a pioneer camera you know and it's just that's what you expect but mm-hmm. you don't get any of that and the fact that it's just so domestic is yeah. so jarring you're just like fine i'm gonna watch this because i gotta figure out what the hell's going on here absolutely and that's well i mean honestly when she's chopping things up for a not a split second i mean for for a few moments yeah. there before before the scene progressed mm-hmm. i'm like this isn't his mom. Who the hell is this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's like, I have, I, cause she, not to be, you know, mean or anything, but she's just, you know, she's very normally dressed. Right. So I'm looking yeah. at this and I'm like, so is this somebody who is like some kind of older relative, relative yeah. of his? How is this? Or did he knock his head? Did somebody pick him up and take him? Right. Up? But yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. It's like, so I just, you know, and then obviously as things progressed, I'm like, <laughs> okay. So this is obviously a more intimate situation, but still, mm-hmm. who the hell is this lady? <laughs> yeah. Well, and this is something that I didn't pick up on until this time around. Um, this is the 80s. The, 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 this, this timeline is in. You see time that frame. TV, right? Yeah. That, that is not a, yeah. a 1999 television. True. Um, because Haruna came to Earth, you know, a long time in ago. In the 80s. But yeah. like she, she, she isn't thinking in this way. Hmm. Um, uh, it, it is a very nostalgic kind of, uh, of an environment. And I think you're, and you're absolutely right, Steve, is that I think one of the fascinating things about this movie is that Tenchi's happy. Tenchi's perfectly content with this. Like, this this is not like, oh my gosh, he's in some hellscape. Like, right. this is a right, really yeah. good place for him to be, and it is very nice. <laughs> like, oh gosh, I don't have to deal with screaming Harridans all the time. Right. There's no <laughs> fighting, there's no, mm-hmm. like, anything more of a hustle than you're gonna be late for class. Yep. Better exactly. get going. Mm-hmm. And you're doing the thing you want to do with your life. You're not mm-hmm. being forced to be something more than what you expected. Mm-hmm. You're making a a career path <laughs> choice of your own. Yep. So yeah, I can see where Tenchi would be really into that. Mm-hmm. Totally. Anyone. 
Um, uh, and so you have this lovely little domestic scene. And again, I, I love the fact that again, for, for the fans watching, you're thinking, what is she doing? Like, how could how, how did she do that? And the, the, the movie is very careful to show none of Haruna's negative side here. She's just right. in the pattern doing this thing. Um, um, you like her because there's no evil. Right. Mm -hmm. she's, so, you know, as, she, as, as she's chopping the, the, the scallions, which, by the way, in terms of sound editing, that was amazing. That yeah. sound of just chopping up the thing. And it just, you know, just, again, domestic, not anything evil. Yep. But, you know, it's not like you got, like, you know, Higurushi <laughs> cry, you know, of just like, you know, like, her, Tenchi, you're going to be late for school. You're exactly. <laughs> you know, it, no craziness or anything going on. There's no, like, you know, aura of, you know, doom coming about. It's mm -hmm. just, just, here's this woman who's just attractive, nice, and clearly good. And stuff. she's not yeah. overbearing. Right? No. No. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. despite the sort of like, you know, picking the rice off and the kiss, she's not like, oh, Tenchi, like all mm -hmm. over him. That would give you sort of a negative reaction to her. She's the it's like, mm -hmm. Right. The I mean, she's, she's just, she's there. So it's like you can adjust to her being there because she's not overly aggressive in anything that she's actually mm -hmm. doing. And again, so it's one of the smart things in a this weird science fantasy, you know, uh, franchise of uh, presenting this kind of villain who has nothing villainous about her, right. no hints. She's just this right. nice woman um, doing the thing. Um, and so we get more of the, you know, the characters trying to, to find Tenchi. Um, and I, I, speaking of sound, one of the things I love about this movie is how they have this chase music that they play mm -hmm. whenever they see Tenchi. It kicks in, they run after Tenchi, and then every single time when Tenchi disappears, it just cuts. Because it is this very jarring thing that Tenchi's there and then he isn't. Um, and presenting that, again, that kind of increasing frustration of none of this makes sense. There's no, you know, teleportation particles flying anywhere. Yeah. There's no weird science fantasy. It is just, he's there, then he isn't there. What the heck is going on? Yeah, they, they get the beepy alarm. And it's like, you would think if you could track him like that, mm -hmm. that you'd be on him like yeah. split second. You'd just be like, oh, he's right around the corner. Mm -hmm. And it's like, nope, you get the dramatic chase scene and the, the thing just stops. The yep. beepy thing yep. stops. Mm -hmm. Everything just stops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yep. Okay. I also love how um, Ryoko does not he hesitate to fly or teleport. Yeah. Um, you know, normally right. when she's in public, yeah. she's, she's a little more careful about that. She's like, nope, mm -hmm. I've got to find him. Like, I don't care who sees me. Um, um, yeah, and then he's just he's just gone. And it just develops his mystery. I really like Ryoko. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, you're in luck really watching cool. this movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, and then you get, and again, this is, this is one of the things I love about the movie is the craft behind it, is this sketch of Haruda. It is hard in animation to draw sketches and make them look like sketches in animation, especially when somebody is flipping something around in hand-drawn animation and getting right. all the angles on that right, and you never really re realize it. Like, it, it works flawlessly. Mm. Um, and I also love the subtle, um, not so subtle, um, meta-ness of this, that, you know, all of Tenchi is drawn you know, um, so uh, he's kind yeah. of recreating the characters in this weird way in, in, the, in the drawing. Tenchi's um, drawing himself into existence. Exactly, yeah. Oh, it's wow. Dun, dun. Um, Boom. Yeah. <laughs> and then we get some moments, and I'm going to have to skip ahead here in a little bit, um, because Haruna gets down on the floor, and I think we've all been trained enough to see these things go up. Ah, she, you know, she's being a little coquettish here. Okay, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, and she, she oh, Tenshi. Yes, yeah. exactly. Um, and he looks over at her, um, and then oh yeah, like they make it very clear that <laughs> what happens next is very much what husbands and wives do. Um, and uh, I mean, uh, look at her and go, "Holy eyebrows!" Exactly. No. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, they're whispering secrets. Um, uh, <laughs> That was Mr. Side Theater, by the way. Whenever the, the, <laughs> something would happen, uh, the, the bots would go, what are they secrets. doing, Joel? They're whispering secrets. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Anyway. Um, How uh, family-friendly. After dark. Yeah, uh, yeah. exactly. Uh, 
it's so not yeah, 10 o'clock they, yet. They have this, <laughs> this, this long, you know, fascinatingly drawn sequence with these sort of silhouettes um, just interacting and this idea of, you know, you're going to be with me always, right? You know? Yeah. Um, which is very much what lovers say, but also has deeper meaning here. Um, well, it, well, it's it, also it, nice to see that Tenchi is, he's actively in, it's going to sound uh -huh. worse than uh -huh. it, what, I, what I mean. Well, yeah. He's actively engaged with someone. Yes. Absolutely. He is not it, actively engaged in running the hell away from Aika and from Ryo Ryoko. Mm, yeah. He's actively engaged mm -hmm. with and focused on a person, single person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and it's and, like. Hmm, this is very unlike Tenshi. <laughs> well, well, my In reaction again. My reaction to it was, you know, basically again, you know, hey, this is new and different. But when the scene came on, I'm like, oh, 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 they're okay. Yes, yeah. Here we go. And then you're like, and they are actually nothing's interrupting them, nothing's pulling away, and that, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. you know, and you're just like happy. Yeah. For him, because oh, the love of God, finally, you know. Yeah, <laughs> they're not about to kiss, and then oh no, something oh, happens. Oh, something happens, well, right? And, and the other thing is, I think you know, without Ryoko and Aika there, I think if Tenchi had a girlfriend, this is what he'd be like with her, right? right. I mean, right. he had distractions. He's totally capable of this. Like, there's, there's nothing strange about him being, you know, very romantic and all that kind of stuff with, with a girl. He's a little shy, but you know, um, this is very much um, in nature of Tenchi the character. Not Tenchi, the person in the situation that he's in. Right. Um, and not the Tenchi, house full of loons in which right, he lives. Exactly. <laughs> um, and so you get um, you know, just more of that. And then you get this scene, which again, I didn't recognize first time watching this movie. We then cut back to that overgrown trail. I love that it's now overgrown going into the into the, the woods because they mentioned in the first, no, we got to keep this clean. Yeah. And then we see all of these dying these all the, the leaves and all the trees you know falling down but we see the camellia is in full bloom ah so, yeah it's and, all that jirai energy just coursing through it yep. see and this is this is this is the part where i just kind of look at yeah. yosho and I go you know dude you didn't figure this out until now I mean, well yeah yeah you know i mean Okay, we know that he went in the direction of, of, of the woods, right? Right. We know that Yosho has that. Well, we don't know actually until you know he yeah. explains yeah. it to Washu. Right. To, to <laughs> you know, oh yeah, you know, I actually had somebody and she died, and so her body is right there, and you know, well, and it's underneath this tree. But I, you know, I personally would have thought that you know, you know, if if he saw the camellia blooms and you know that mm -hmm. kind of just went, hmm, mm -hmm. I would be like. Because you know, he's usually so astute about well, everything thing. else. You the, know. This is the thing. Is I think he does know because we see his, his shocked reaction to that when he goes, yeah. oh, crap. But the thing is, later on, like he knows and he tells Washu, and she goes, no, no, Tenchi's in danger. He goes, what, really? Okay, we need to do something. I think he's like, yeah. I, I screwed up in the past. She has taken it. She's taken Tenchi temporarily. And what's going to happen here is that like, she needs time with him. Once that's happened, she'll release Tenchi back, and then she can move on. And that this is kind of my penance that, you know, I can't provide this to her. Maybe she can get it to Tenchi, but, that, you know, Tenchi's not going to be harmed through this. He's just going to have, you know, right, some experiences. And, and, there's, no, <laughs> and there's no problem in the, in the you know, Tenchi-verse mm -hmm. of <laughs> Tenchi's grandfather saying, so a... my dead first girlfriend... <laughs> Wants to spend time mm -hmm. with my grandson, ah. who she's By never met. Means. So instead means. of inviting me back into the crazy tree of happiness, <laughs> she's like <laughs> after my grandson. Not even my son. <laughs> I'm, and I'm, I'm just like, you know, I, in, uh, yeah, way, it's, I, well, I, I want that to be the subtitle for this movie. Crazy tree. crazy tree of happiness. I mean, that's what I was, you know, kind yeah. of confused at. I'm like, yeah. you would think that she, I, I, you know, having seen through the end of the film, I know mm -hmm. where this goes. But yeah. at, you know, at that juncture, it's kind of like, I really wanted 
him to approach the tree, him to have sort of recognition, mm. and then her to appear to him and be like, yeah. because of what we missed out, mm-hmm. I'm holding on to Tenchi. Yeah. You need to let go of the world and come mm. to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Something yeah. where it'd be yeah. like a little more villainy. Like, mm-hmm. I've yeah. taken your kid or your grandkid, yeah. mm-hmm. and now you have to do this. Yeah. And yep. that something would develop from that. And it's like, mm-hmm. and it doesn't. And it doesn't. <laughs> and it's like, one of the fascinating things about this movie is that, you know, Haruna is a very tragic villain. Right, like she isn't trying to hurt anybody. She sees Tenchi running away, uncertain about himself. Sees kind of Yosho in him, um, as Yosho says. You know, he's he's very much a different person than he used to be. Um, but Tenchi's kind of this, and she's like, "Oh, I can give you that, right? And I I can have my life with you, and kind of everyone's happy." Um, you know, she's not. Try- and it's one of the things I love about this movie. She's not trying to take over the world. She's not trying right. to kill anybody. It's just this this last dying wish in a way. And and it's really to the point that you know we call her a villain because I don't think we know what else to call her because antagonist she's villain. really yeah antagonist whatever because she's really not a restless a soul. Yeah, yeah she's, she's really not a villain. No, she's not. You're absolutely right. Um, well, I mean, when you take somebody away without explanation that sure. that immediately kind of classifies you in like the kidnapper <laughs> kind of thing True. you know what i mean yeah i um, guess there is a now, point like you know, arguably with... because of tenchi's settling into this mm. and mind you she also kind of screwed with his memory absolutely yep so yeah. you know what i mean you've got that extra sort of layer you take him and then it's not like you just say i'll offer you all these things peace and quiet and yeah. you you can have it's a not career. consensual right yeah i mean he I don't think if he was offered the opportunity, knowing Tenchi from mm-hmm. you know the, the series, yeah. Tenchi would do something to try and help her. Mm-hmm. I yes, don't absolutely. think that he'd yeah, yeah, totally yeah, turn yeah. her away. Well, he would go with her to help her solve the problem. And we see that later in the movie when he he re, he remembers, recognizes Aik and Ryoko, right? But realizes who Haru is and goes, "No, you two go. Like this will not be resolved by you two yelling at her." She right. needs to have her own because that's well. Tenchi. Tenchi's good to help her, yeah. but her initial yeah. effort into this is like <laughs> take him and blank his memory out, and then mm-hmm. then do things for him and with him. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, okay, mm-hmm. well, that's yeah. kind of villainy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Eve's <laughs> gonna have to go in there and experience this to figure it out. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I'm thinking choices here. Domestic life, doing what you need, mind wiped of of screeching royal woman, yeah. brutish, beautiful <laughs> space, space pirate, pirate. Mm-hmm. really dumb police woman, another police woman who's really not interested in anything or anybody. Yeah. Sasami, who's cute, but you know, you know really doesn't no. ten do, do anything. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah, ten. Mm-hmm. His father's not there. He, you know, he's not going to look right at the window and see his father with the camera. You know, mm, this stuff. Yeah. I mean, you know, if the, I don't know mm-hmm. if it was me, if the choice, I'd be like, absolutely. Oh, you're kind of yeah, blank the memory, please. Well, yes. yeah. well, and this is the <clears throat> plot of Tenchi in Tokyo. Um, this right. is the thing is yeah. that both of those is that the Tenchi Universe group and the Tenchi in Tokyo group both had this idea, basically collaborating. They went off. This group did the movie, they did the TV series. Um, right. But it's very different takes on that concept, uh, where you do see this, like, what would be better? Like, what would you, you know, would you prefer this? And I love how later on in the, in the movie, we see this, this scene where Haruna goes and takes Tenchi his uh, umbrella, and we see she <clears throat> is not living an idealized life for herself. Right? She's waiting for Tenchi. She's uncertain about him. She's waiting for him. She sees all these people coming and going, and she's clearly uncomfortable. Um, you know, this is, in a sense, her reality. She can make this happen the way she wants, but she yeah. has all the normal human reactions people, people have. Um, Which I thought was funny, because, like, in her created universe, yeah. she can be the absolute rock star. Yeah. You know what I mean? She, sh- she shouldn't have to worry about any other character drawing Tenchi's attention. So if right. he's late, is he hanging out with somebody? Is he doing something? It's like, no, your universe, you could be like, there is nobody else. Mm-hmm. Yep. The robot, you know, the entire yeah. facility is filled with mannequins <laughs> and Tenchi. <laughs> and Tenchi can only go there and be with mannequins and then be with me. Mm-hmm. I'm the best yeah. thing ever. Yeah. She actually makes the effort to make other believable characters mm-hmm. in her world. Yeah. And it leads to her own kind of anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wow. Absolutely. 
kind of um, psychosis are you in, lady? Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. You're with your grandson. Yeah. Potential. Um, it, wait, 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 got him. Yeah. Um, uh, but ah. yeah, um, and, and you and but it leads to this very sweet moment. And again, getting back to Tenchi being Tenchi, you know, he does this very romantic thing where he's like, no, I don't need the umbrella. We'll just walk with you. Um, and it's just very sweet. Um, he needed a chalkboard to draw the little umbrella. Exactly. Under <laughs> <it>. <laughs> That's cute. Um, and then finally, um, uh, <laughs> Ryoko and Aika have a moment on the roof. I do love this moment where uh, Ryoko just starts yelling out to Tenchi, and, and Aika joins, and we get this woman walking by going, what the yeah. hell? What's the yelling? <laughs> the poor woman down there is just like, I got it again. <laughs> I it. I, again, they just won't stop. And we finally get so a My shift is over in 10 yeah, minutes. I don't get paid enough. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we get a lovely little moment of, of the two of them, uh, again, sort of very much attention where you love on the train, um, yeah. of them starting to go at it again. And then, like, they immediately stop. And I love, again, this is not that movie. You know? They are united in this journey together, really. Um, and they realize it. And what's in so fascinating to me about this uh, thing is I think this is one of the moments when Aika turns. Because um, this is this is the movie in which you know where Tenchi's ending up in this universe. Um, and you can see Aika recognizing Ryoko's strength in this moment. Um, uh, but then they, they see, again, we have uh, Tenchi appearing and disappearing again. Um, which then leads to, again, just kind of more goofiness of, of them um, doing it. And then, and again, I think you get more about Ayaka, where what happens? Ryoko is concerned. Ayaka breaks down. Yeah. And she just runs off to the bathroom and just starts bawling. And I think this really demonstrates the tension between the two, is that, no, no offense to any Ayaka fans out there, but Ayaka has a, an obsession with Tenchi that Ryoko does not have. Um, it's, it's that sort of, okay, I'm going to piss off so many people with this. It's kind of like Twilight. Um, you know. Oh, boy. Ayaka is real. nothing without Tenchi, right? She just, there's nothing in her. She's going to hide over here. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, Ayaka has just wrapped her entire world around Tenchi. Yeah. Um, whereas Ryoko mm -hmm. has a more, I don't want to say balanced, but a more grounded um, uh, feelings for him. There's a wonderful moment in one of the manga where um, there's a kind of a dream sequence and Ryoko uh, gets into a situation where um, she believes Tenchi might just tur completely turn his back on her and never love her again. And she goes, and I'm fine with that because I will love Tenchi forever. And it's not, it's not a reference to this film, but she's like, I, he does not have to reciprocate his feelings for my feelings to be valid. And that is just such, you know, that just so sums up where she's coming from in all of this. Um, well, her relationship with Tenchi has been in Tenchi's entire life. I mean, yeah, even yeah. when she was oh, yeah. in, in, the, in, in the cave, right? you know, she's the spirit. She's always been around. She mm -hmm. watched over him when his mother died and, you know, just, you know, felt mm -hmm. sad for him and, and all that. Yeah. And Ayeka shows up, and it's and for Ayeka, it's 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 a simple moment of like he just extends her hand out and helps her, and you know in the OVA it's the the whole carrying her on her on his yeah. back, and and she loves the idea of tension. She loves the fact that he is dry, and he because he is he's half dry, right. and you know so she's all these things in her romantic mind come together, whereas Ryoko is just like going. I actually know the guy. Yeah, you know, I actually know him. Mm -hmm. For Ayaka, it's it's a destruction of yeah. the the ideal because they're because the reason why she's really upset is because she's finding out that he's having this relationship with Karuna, and even with his mind wiped or not, they it's it's working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's working, and 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 she can't she can't handle it whereas ryoko has seen him grow up and go through these things mm -hmm. or not necessarily relationships but go through <laughs> right. these things and 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 just understand that he's doing what's natural which mm -hmm. is moving on and right. yep. ryoko i think recognizes the missed chances and says it's on us and and, and whereas ayaka can't she just she just can't well it's something ryoko brings up multiple times she said tenji may have just moved on and chosen someone else. 
Like, yeah. it's life, you know? Um, well, I think also for Aika, she always talks about Tenchi as Lord Tenchi. Yeah. He's old mm-hmm. Lord Tenchi. So her lens that she views Tenchi through is either I, and I, I, it's what I always try to figure out is like is she viewing him on a on a level plane as you are Jirai <clears throat> you're royalty I'm royalty we're royals or and it, it I lean more towards he's Lord Tenchi so he's a step up mm. Ryoko never looks at Tenchi as yeah. anything less than a dead equal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. And you know, and a lot mm-hmm. of times, like the TV show, yep. not even, not even equal. <laughs> <laughs> like, Ryoko is definitely obs- insanely there's, strong. There's, there's, I, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You know, Aika, she always approaches him, and it's certainly in the movie it reinforces. She always approaches him from the some, from a it feels like a lesser status. Power. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that she is giving him that upper yep. you know, seat in this while Ryoko – no. Ryoko yep. just approaches him like mm-hmm. on the same kind of level. Yep. So I totally get why Ryoko is breaking down because it's yeah. just like – you know, it's very hard for her to, to be in that kind of situation where he's – where Haruna is being treated like an equal like Ryoko gets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and it's just like – Absolutely. Oh boy! Yep. That's that's a hard pill to swallow. Absolutely. Yeah. Totally. Um, I mean, you do feel for Aika in this, you know? Yeah. She, yeah. She, she's put everything on Tenchi, and it's all falling apart. Um, and all then the eggs in one basket. Appear. Right. Uh, and then Kione gets her fantastic little ghost in the shell sequence here, um, <laughs> where she gets to break into this to the uh, Royal Academy, um, which is where Washu comes from. Um, and we get some wonderful science fiction ridiculousness. Uh, and then, uh, speaking of... Egg, yeah, I love egg. the alligator clips. It's like yeah, exactly. a super-ass <laughs> computer. It's like, oh, that'll, that'll, that'll just do it. Yeah, boop, exactly. boop. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. what? <laughs> well, it, I, was, I, I was, like, watching it. I was, like, going, paper clips? Mm-hmm. What? What? Paper clips? And just inserting in random, like, yeah. crevices? I mean, there's not even, like, like any kind of connector points. To like, it. Right, like, you know? I, I'm like, my USB port has more of a, you know... <laughs> Makes more well, sense. Well, like, given now. the time period, you could have just made like a nine pin or a 21 pin parallel connector cord just <laughs> right. plugged yeah. it in like that. I mean, that would have made more sense than alligator clips. <laughs> what are you trying to hack we'll, we'll into around, like the KGB you know? in like 1960s <laughs> Berlin? Oh, I would just get on the telephone line, you money buddy. <laughs> 5,000 years in the future, and it'll all be you know, PS1 cables. You know, <laughs> in, you know, it's all going to be yeah. Clockwork Planet, where you exactly. have to wind up all the super technology. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. And speaking of Aika, we then get Aika's dream, where she imagines tension to come to hammer at home, right? Like she's really worried about this, um, and she, and she wakes up and you get the sequence, which again, for for folks like us who have some experience with this, we kind of see what's going on here, because this is a. I'm actually going to see if I can uh, find out exactly. So she wakes up. Um, and I was going to say, for Tenchi, Tenchi versus experts like you all are, mm-hmm. does Aika, does she risk a loss of status if Tenchi does not find interest in her? Is no. it, is there other Jirai? There's, I mean, we've seen Sasami goes to Jirai, mm-hmm, and there's yeah. other men oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that presumably yeah. would be, mm-hmm. you know, status accepting that would make her. Well, remember in the OVA. In the OVA. Aika ran after Yosho. Like, that that was her first love. She had a huge crush on Yosho. And they, and then, they were arranged. Yeah. Uh, and then she transferred that to Tenchi. Aika, in a lot of ways, is the um, uh, 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 gilded cage. Burden to gilded, gilded cage. You yeah. Know, she had this thing that she was going to do when she was of age. And that was just it. And now that that's not it anymore, the only thing she can do is move to Tenchi. With that, not, there's just nothing else that enters her mind. There are plenty of opportunities. Um, yeah, okay. yeah. She she doesn't lose any status. It's yeah. if if anything it increases. Like if you were to look at it in a way, this is kind of getting political, but in a way, if you were to look at it in a way of royal mm-hmm. political um, maneuvering, mm-hmm. right? Um, this would actually increase her. <laughs> her power on honestly within that context because then she comes um um you know 
but she can be married to off to another part of the Jirai family right. to create alliances, to create a strong mm-hmm. union, yeah. da, 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 da. and that increases her, in terms of royalty, more worth. And right. one thing they've established in the, the larger canon is that um, Jirai yeah. very much builds off of the classic idea of creating alliances through marriage. So right. very typically, right. you have you know this other empire somewhere and you're marrying, marrying to them. Um, and, yeah. and remember, Yosho is actually her... Brother? Brother? Yeah. Uh, had to pull down the tree. In, in OVA. Down, yeah, brother, yeah, in the OVA. Had that's to still. pull down the thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think it's but like half that's, brother, but whatever. But, but that's what they... they so do. it's and only half wrong. wrong. <laughs> oh, <okay>. Cool. <laughs> Neat. But, I mean, she's related to Tenchi, when you think mm-hmm. about it. And so she, yeah, so she's there. Yeah, so oh, it's stop not... doing that. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh-huh. but, I've never but, watched yeah. any show that had Brokon and Siskon. <laughs> no, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> mm, uh, yeah. Um, but, uh, but no, she hasn't... Yeah. It, 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 the end result, she hasn't... Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. So we have this, like, two-minute scene between Ryoko and Aieka, which consists of, I think, maybe four different camera angles. Um, yep. And basically just lip flaps. Okay. Going back for between the two of them. They clearly do not have a lot of budget for this scene. So what they do is they, is they give Ryoko her monologue in this scene. Yeah. This is where Ryoko really comes into her own and gives that speech. And again, full... Uh, uh, full props to the, the voice actors in here because she nails it, of just having that tone of saying, look, and it's this wonderfully exhausted tone where she's like, I don't like this situation, but this is where we are. Face the facts. Tenji may have moved on, whatever, but we're here, we're going to do our thing. And by the way, if you want to give up, fine. And I'm not even saying that in a nasty way. I'm, seeing, I'm saying that's a totally reasonable reaction to the situation because, sure, this is hard. Um, but this is my direction. I'm going in that direction. I'm going to do whatever I can to get Tenchi back. Which I think for a very limited animation scene. Yeah. This is exactly the scene you need for that speech. Exactly. Yes. Because having a lot of, you know, moving around a lot, moving the futons mm-hmm. and going yeah. over the war and everything, that would be very distracting. Yes. If, you know, it saves money, undoubtedly. But I think it so laser focuses what's going on by making this as simplistic as possible visually so that you can mm-hmm. effectively focus on the impact of what Ryoko's saying. Absolutely. Right. I, I, totally. And that's why I think this is a, a great scene, because yeah. they use it properly. Yeah. Um, um, Kudos to them. Yeah. It, it would have been very easy to make this a, a cheap scene that felt cheap. Instead, it felt like a, a cheap scene, that, a, a, an extensive scene that had depth. Um, totally. Um, and then we, we move on from there to the next appearance of Tenchi. Again, bang, it's <clears> gone. <throat> and again, we see Ryoko's reaction. I love the fact that Ryoko doesn't see him. She immediately like goes down on, on her knees. Um, and by the way, from the, those not aware, classically in Japan, if you're out like on a dusty street, you don't want to touch the street. Yeah. So you're, you're not going to put your hand on the street. You're not going to, you're not going to balance yourself. You just need to, you know, get down. Um, but her reaction is, you know, dang, that Tenchi really is annoying, isn't he? You know, it, it's this, she's making light of the situation. Um, she's not, like, breaking down the way Aika was. Um, and but really... you can you can feel, mm-hmm. just because the character that Ryoko is, that just in doing that, just simply hunching down, mm-hmm. is the weight of this. Yes. And it's just like, wow, okay, we've seen Aika break down in the bathroom she's going off someplace quiet that she could do what she has to do on her own and here's ryoko having her moment and it's couldn't be more public yeah. she's in the middle of the road mm-hmm. and she fully owns that feeling she's not yeah somewhere behind closed doors mm-hmm. having her moment she's yeah. there for everybody to see mm-hmm. absolutely yeah. um like We're, a good space pirate. Exactly, yes. <laughs> um, we, we, we then cut back to Haruno's world, and one of my favorite shots in anime, besides just in all of this, um, which is Haruno walking in to very self-satisfyingly see the portrait of herself. Um, and then she turns away from that um, and uh, turns and actually like spins a little bit in place and then walks off to reveal the drawing of Ryoko. 
Oh, I thought you were going to say the pineapple and the fruit. <laughs> or hatred of pineapples. Exactly. Um, because you don't notice it immediately, right? Your eyes like, okay, and she, you know, we're going to cut, right? Like, we're going to cut, we're going to move along. We're staying here, right? Whoa! Like, I know what that is. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and you realize it's starting to break down. Um, and then, of course, Haruna comes back to it and sees this. And again, I love Haruna doesn't break down. Haruna doesn't, you know, yell or anything. She just snatches it and balls it up. Um, because it is this kind of betrayal of what's going on. Um, uh, but, you know, she's keeping it together, right? She's not, she's not having that kind of reaction. Well, it's um, also kind of an interesting moment because the anger that she has or the reaction that she has, well, it's mm-hmm. say full-on anger, but the reaction she has is it an acknowledgement that the first of all the mind wipe was not as complete as she right. had hoped for, mm-hmm. and then second of all, her grasp on the full function of her own world yeah. is not total, mm-hmm. and it's like up until this point she has been completely, but for her anxiety of the characters in her world, mm-hmm. she had she is the master of the world. She she. Yeah. Did this thing? There it is, mm-hmm. and here's an element of it. Sort of like, uh oh, you know, there's yeah. like there's like a bug. There's a mm-hmm. bug in the in yeah. this, and it's starting to show that this she didn't do this entirely the way that she intended. Exactly, it's almost frustration at herself. Yeah. Like, oh, I didn't architect this right, uh, which we right. see later on that she tries to fix that and doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and so and she's just like, no, well, if, if we just hide it away, right, then it won't be a problem anymore. Mm. Well, it's very interesting that she just doesn't do a mind wipe. No. No. Well, and this is the other thing. Is this, you know, again, you know, Haruna hasn't practiced this, you know? Right. She yeah. just started, she's like, let's try this. Let's see if this works. Um, and as far as we know, it's been working for six months. Well, right. we, time dilation, but still. Um, well, and we don't have a, when Tenchi wakes up in that first, you know, when he's yeah. flying through the mm-hmm. ether space with camellia flowers, yeah. we don't have any data on like, has her Haruna been like hammering this out? So he's floating in the ether yeah. space, basically saved as backup. Yeah. While she's loading all this up and trying to construct it in a way that makes some kind of sense. We also don't know. She's gone. Mm. So presumably whatever element of her can power this mm-hmm. is not necessarily infinite. Right. Yes. So you know, I mean, yeah. there's well, the, all those functions of it. It's like there's a bug, but we don't know that she's got enough power to just go, yep, yeah, I'll just and, blank it, do it all again. And this is one of the things which that is, I think Yosha realizes is that she's dying. You know, she clearly cannot live forever. This is her last game. Yeah, answer. her spirit energy yeah. is <clears throat> filter, flittering off to well, the universe. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the part of the television. The part of the television tells you that she can't control all the aspects of this world she, yeah, right. she, she can she can probably build it because if she was omniscient truly omniscient mm-hmm. that television would be putting on an average show right she doesn't know what the shows are yeah. she doesn't she doesn't know what the news would be she doesn't mm-hmm. know you know that the weather man would forecast or unless you wanted to do it someone pointed out earlier in the chat land um the groundhog day groundhog day would yeah be the same day mm-hmm. over and over again yeah it's six oh seven and it's raining. You know, it's you know. Wow, it's, for it's, six months it's been six oh seven and raining, mm, yeah. and it's clearly sunny outside. What's up with that? <laughs> What's going on? I don't well, know. there's another thing that I I haven't paid attention to, but I believe the clock next to Tenchi's uh, uh, bed is always at the same time. Yeah, it whenever is. he wakes yeah. up, it's yeah. always the same. But time. I, I think they they show it at other parts of the day, and I think it's still the same time. Oh, um, so I'm not, paid, I'm not sure if she's doing that. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, well, see, this is, and this is this is related in aside, yeah. but um, there was a next gen episode mm-hmm. where the Enterprise encounters another uh, society that mm-hmm. does not want to be contacted, oh. mm-hmm. and so they make a deal That's that right. yeah. if you guys let us mind wipe you, and oh, then we'll drop you off over here then you'll it'll be like you never like mm-hmm. something happened like a wormhole oh that was yeah. crazy. And there's like these little slight clues because mm. the effort to make the normal at the other end mm-hmm. 
wasn't they they couldn't get it exactly perfect and it like mm-hmm. makes me think of her doing all of that. Well, it's like she can't do the tv mm-hmm. so she so the tv's just got to be broken okay. yeah you know what i mean mm-hmm. he he wakes up to her chopping up stuff and doing things and mm-hmm. it's like clocks or you know their secondary thoughts right. mm-hmm. there's other things in the world Bank account right yeah it's right. all it's just kind of gobbledygook mm-hmm. because there's just some things that sh- they visually look good enough yeah and the mechanics of it are just a little, you know, too far beyond the her to control that. Well, and not to get too creepy, but there have been like studies done into like mind wiping real people, and one of the problems is if you truly mind wipe somebody, they don't have language anymore. Yeah, right. Like <laughs> because like that's part of your memories, Ooh, right? Is how to yeah. do all that stuff, and you can't like really selectively like remove this memory yeah. because that's part connected to all these other things. So it is incredibly difficult to actually just you know. Reset a certain part of the mind. Well, if redo of healer beyond mm. its really problematic out of specs has taught me nothing, <laughs> is that the combination of alchemy and magic you can mind wipe and turn hey. somebody who's horrible into a wonderful person. Awesome. Um, huh. uh, yeah, and, and again, and I, I I love how Harano reacts to this because it is on the one hand manipulative, where she just starts crying, but on the other hand, it is kind of accurate to where she is right now, where she's like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just yeah. upset. Um, and that's all she wants. And again, I love the imagery of the reflection in the knife. Uh, yeah. just, that, is, that is where we are right now. Um, love me, Tenshi, or I'm going to cut you up like this leaf. <laughs> that was my little Higurashi moment. I was yeah. just like, no, oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> love me, Tenshi! <laughs> oh, God, no! <laughs> um, and then they go out. Um, ring, ring shopping. shopping. God, I was like, um, what? <laughs> yeah, and, and again, this is something we talked about with, with Princess Mononoke is imagine being an animator, being told, okay, for half the movie they have rings on their hands, and half the movie they don't. <laughs> you got to keep track <laughs> of which hand has the ring, which one doesn't, what scene it's Continuity. in. Continuity. You know, uh, it's orientation on the finger, uh, yeah, all that yeah. shit. Oh, all that stuff. Crazy. Stuff. It's why you don't see those very often in anime. Is it, is it's, it's just expensive to keep track of that stuff. Right. Um, um, so, yeah, so, so they get the ring, which becomes important later. Um, uh, and so we get some, you know, goofy stuff with Ryoko and Aika uh, interacting. And then we finally get an actual intersection between the two. Um, and you, you, you spoke of sound design earlier, uh, Steve. I love how whenever Ryoko tries to interact with them, um, there's this sort of... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, and like she does it a lot, and they always synchronize it so that you know it's always hitting the right way. It's great. Yeah. Um, and this is the first time when you realize, oh, Haruna is as she stares <laughs> daggers at them, <laughs> like, and oof. very confidently. Like it's not just stay away. Like it's I got this handled. There's nothing you yeah. can do. You're in my sandbox. <laughs> like I control everything <laughs> yeah, here. Exactly. I have the milkshake, not you. And Which I, I honestly <laughs> expected, like, the when that happened, I, like, mm-hmm. I got, not not jumpy, but I was, like, yeah. I was ready for her to do, so, like, something really yeah. catastrophic yeah. to happen. Be like, yeah. mm-hmm. And then it just didn't. No, no. She, Harana does not break character with Tenchi looking out the window doing his thing. She's just, you know, looking at, at Aika and Ryoko and just... <laughs> Kind of like, she's just, she's just like, she's, she was just like uh, she, again, very confident, but she was just had that look of just like, um, yeah, whatever <laughs> it is that you're trying to do ain't gonna work, and yep. you just need to, you know, move along. Yep, just absolutely. Well, along. and again, you know, we, we've seen, I'm thinking back to, to uh, Gosh, hyper dolls. Um, you've seen a lot of anime of confrontations in cafes, which then turn into a knockdown, drag out fight. You know, right. as they're being you know somersaulted and vaulted all over the place. And, and, and like, the oh. poor cafe takes it, and then they, <laughs> you yep. know, but but this time the cafe just goes a reality shift, mm-hmm. and you know, mm-hmm. and that you know nobody's able to contact each other, but they're just aware, and and then you're just like, at the end of it. You know, like like you, John. Like for first time I've seen it, I was just like, okay, here comes the metaphysical the thing. thing that's going to knock Ryoko mm-hmm. and Ayaka on their butts in their reality or whatever, and it just doesn't happen. She just goes, "I'm just going to blink, and we're going to be gone, and I'm not going to have to deal with you anymore." Mm-hmm. 
That's Which it. the thing I, I thought was curious about this too is like the reality that Ryoko and Aika are from mm-hmm. has people. Yes. Right. This is like, you know, it's like, again, at the end of the film, looking mm-hmm. backwards, it's like, is Tenchi's school had people mm-hmm. when Haruna was waiting outside of the school with the umbrella? There were people. Mm-hmm. Now they're in a family restaurant and yeah. there's nobody. Well, so is Haruna running out of juice? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it's like, is this, yeah. it's too much to populate this space. Mm-hmm. It's about yeah. her intention and that's all. And she's putting all of the reserves that she has it's now that. Question, actually. I'm going to go backwards a little bit. I want to see if I can see their, um, uh, their interaction in the world. You know what I just realized? I don't know if this is intentional or not. As we pan down that street, nobody moves. Which is a common thing in anime. Right. right, you just pan across. Hmm. Um, you don't have to animate it if you just show it. In, mm-hmm. in, but know, also, pan. they're the only ones in the jewelry shop. I just realized that. Other than the obviously, uh, yeah, the, 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 yeah. But there are no yeah. other customers. That's a really good point. I wonder. <clears> if, yeah, Haruna <throat> is just like, nope. Um, and it's also interesting pointing out, and I, I do wonder if this isn't sort of a um, um, sort of power thing. Um, we do know that if you. Um, if you pass over somebody else in, in the two worlds, there is some reaction. Um, and you notice that when they phase out, that booth is empty. So I wonder if Haruna isn't intentionally um, making sure that the people in her world don't overlap with people in the other mm. world. So Could be. if this is a crowded restaurant, then we have to sit in the empty booth, right, to, to make that work. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I think that, that Haruna is, is starting to lose it. Yeah, because, I mean, she hasn't populated the interior of the restaurant with anybody. No. And, you know, and it's well, and, it's an interesting kind of moment, too, that yeah. Tenchi doesn't turn around and look at a family restaurant and be, mm-hmm. like, looking the booths behind her <laughs> and then turn around, look behind him and be like, is it, like, an unusual yeah. time of day? Wait, where <laughs> like, is everybody? Is every, it's, oh, it's 7 a.m. again. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, so, no, no, no. So um, the thought I have mm. about her power and not having enough juice, which I, I, I think is correct, is that it's the power is not actually hers. It's the tree yeah. that yeah. she's buried under. Yeah. And, you know, the, but it's a masterless tree, as you show. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. her tree. Mm-hmm. It's, well, it's not originally her tree. Mm. It, it doesn't belong to anybody. There's no Jirai that belongs to that. And mm. she came from a class where they don't have those trees that oh, prolong your lives. The grandfather prolong. said that, that that was her tree. No, it was, a, it was I, I, tree. I, I think he said that that was basically a tree he brought along to be her tree, tree. tree. But it's not like her Jirai connected, Tr- synchronized tree. tree, I think. Oh, see, I yeah. totally missed that. Yeah. I thought I, that yeah. was I, I her sure. Jirai tree. I was like, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, that's why she's got some power and it's. No, she's using that and the tree is dying. Because she's drawing it off. Uh, well, I think it's dying to begin with, and it's hmm. and it's you know if we wrap into because you know it's Tenchi and, and we like to be smacked in the face with a two by four called Shinto <laughs> in this anime, yeah. and it's it's you know as the tree is dying, then she, you know her spirit is dying because she's drawing so much power from it, right? And then as it's, as it, as she speeds up the process of the tree di- uh, dying, and that's why Yosho at the end I think attacks the tree. <laughs> the tree of happiness yeah. um the, <laughs> and um the so when she's drawing on the power it's not really her power so she's drawing on it and so i think you're 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 right in that she doesn't have the juice yeah and that's why she's not okay. populating it mm-hmm. but i think the reason why she doesn't have the juice is because it's actually not her tree mm-hmm. it's a dying mm-hmm. tree it's a dying tree. wow so tree. she's yeah. caught in a, in a fatal spiral yeah right yeah she mm-hmm. needs the tree's remaining power to fuel what she's Which doing is, and right. while she's fueling what she's doing she's she's killing the thing that's giving her the power to do it exactly interesting which is i think another reason why yosho is so hesitant to, to act because he knows that a killing the tree kills haruna effectively but yeah. b it doesn't really kill haruna as we see like it simply dr- cuts off her power but she's still there um you know her, her spirit still exists this is just cutting off that power source um, what is that necessarily going to do? Um, 
Well, when Anakin shows up as the young Anakin, <laughs> uh, Obi-Wan overhearing uh, Yoda. Exactly. Oh, that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, she so becomes we, one with the Force. Yeah. <laughs> um, as we move back, we get to see Ozaka and Kamadake, um, sort of fan Yes. Fans. These are the logs. If you've seen Tenji Moyo, the logs. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. This is the human form of those logs. Uh, of those what? logs. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's who they oh, are. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize <laughs> they had a human form. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, they... I forget the whole nonsense about it, but basically, like, their consciences are transferred into the logs because the logs have all these crazy powers to them. Yeah. Um, but then they can get, you know, reverted back and have their human bodies if they want to. Compl so does the log exist alongside of them, or do they, I like, physically know. become the log? I'm not... I, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, e the log. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first time I saw the logs, I'm like, oh, it's basically like a wooden robot <laughs> right yeah. like, i'm not mm -hmm. sure yeah. i can yeah. grasp what's and, going on with that in but. fairness like the whole tenchi ova goes along and they're just logs like you have no idea yeah. to say anything it's long yeah. it's long oh, it's, it's, it's heavy, heavy. It's, it's heavy it's heavy it's wood <laughs> it's long um, it's long it's better than uh, bad it's, good. it's yeah. good and then uh you know yosho comes to the tree um in a change of clothing um so you know things are changing um <clears throat> Uh, and then, like you say, um, and I, I love we, we, we switch to the television, and we think it's the television in the real in, in their world, but it's the television in their apartment, and it's showing a ridiculously sappy, stupid soap opera, which I think is again kind of the the uh, the, the film crew going <laughs> parallels. Nudge, Just saying. Nudge, yeah. nudge. Hey, see that? Yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah, and then we start moving into the next phase of uh, the actual um, plot here, where we can actually sync over with, uh, with, with Harna. And again, they do some really smart things here where Tenchi's not feeling well, and so he's kind of trying to figure out what's gonna happen, and see if I can find the actual frame here. Yeah. Well, I like the I like the part too where they run around and they mm -hmm. place these gizmos for yeah. Washu to do her thing. I'm like, mm -hmm. wait a minute, didn't we do that uh, with the Tokyo uh, Tower uh, thing yeah, and the whole? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was expecting because there were five of them in a ring. I was like, oh, it's the the five Fudo temples. All right, they were just gonna reuse that plot line, but not quite. Um, but I, I do like the little moment here where he sees the light blue paint blob, and he just starts making Ryoko's hair out of it, um, yeah. very idly. Um, in that way that you do when you're, you know, you got these paint, you're, you know, you're just playing around with color and seeing what happens. Yeah. Um, Notice that it's not a, a, a Ayaka no, kind of hair color. Yeah, no. that's right. And, and in fairness, right, like Ryoko is the most memorable visually, right? So, you, you know, you could initially say, well, that's just the first one that comes to mind. <laughs> first one comes to mind, comes to heart. Mm. Yep. Um... And so Harna realizes what's going on, comes back inside. Everything is fine, though, um, of course. Um, and so Harna decides to, uh, um, uh, you know, just let it go for now. Um, and so then we get the, the, the scene with Yosho where he finally realizes, okay, yeah, this is serious, right? This isn't just, you know, my past kind of coming back to haunt me. No, like, Tenchi's in danger. We need to do something about it. Um, How did Washu show up in the fire? I didn't. It's Washu. Yeah, it's oh, Washu. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah. the answer. It's, ah. He's the most little Washu. Yeah, the most brilliant mind in the universe. First, um, I really want. And when she did that, I really wanted to hear the science song. <laughs> yeah. The science song. Did the I miss science the science song from the OVA? From the yeah. it's the OVA, right? I or is it? So, or is it? Yeah. Or is it the universe? Yeah. yeah. It's a yeah, great it's little song where she tries to explain science to Ryoko and and just. It just goes off on this tangent. And at the end, she goes, do you understand now? And Rio goes like, no, not even a little bit. Nice. Well, um, that's good. Exactly. Um, yeah, so we got our backstory, which is fine. We find out that every camellia in Japan was planted by Yosho. Fine. Uh -huh. Whatever. Um, He's the camellia apple seed. No, hold on. Yeah. 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 Um, um, and so then we get, uh, we, we start getting back with Haruna in the universe where she realizes that he's still drawing Ryoko. It hasn't gotten better. It's still there. Um, and so she does. And again, I love it. You know, this is jealousy, right? Like, she doesn't want him to have that girl in his head. Not because she hates the, because he, she's, 
it's more just, you know, I'm your wife. I should be the only thing in your head right now, right? Yeah. Um, uh, and he doesn't understand that, but, of course, how could he? Um, and so she decides to use her womanly ways to make him forget um, in this scene. And this is um, a gentleman by the name of Koji Moroboto, um, an animator. I've had one him in my panels uh, uh, frequently. He worked on Tenchi Forever, and he is a genius when it comes to understanding the three-dimensionality of, of characters and being able to move them in three dimensions. So if you imagine, um, you know, if I do this with my hands, right, um, I am compressing together the skin, and that compression is based on the musculature and the bones underneath those things. So when they compress, if I'm animating that, I can only compress that so much in lines. But all I have to work with in animation are black lines and the skin tone, right? Maybe a shadow color. Right. So being able to represent th this motion, for example, in 2D is very, very difficult because of all the shapes moving in and out. And in this scene, there are so many sequences of hands moving across muscle and skin and going right. in and out over things and caressing things where you have to know exactly how much fat and muscle is in that spot as the hand is moving over. It is unreal. And that is what Ko Koji Morimoto can do and does. Um, and it's just brilliant work from a pure 2D animation perspective of how much he's able to think through how all those things work. And he is clearly drawing this entire sequence. And again, just the deformation of that. It's just, oh, it blows me away every time. Um, and again, it's, it's very intimate. It's very, you know, it is this, this scene where two people, are, two characters are literally being like physically intimate with each other. And so it's important to represent that correctly. They don't feel just like, you know, two drawings slapped on top of each other. Um, right? It's important. Um, bam, 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 bam. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not going to go there. Um, <laughs> um, it's not 10 o'clock yet. Yeah, exactly. Um, but, yeah, but then she, she gets the, the moment out of it, right? She, she, gets, she, gets, she gets the promise. Will you love me forever? <clears throat> yes. Will you be with me forever? Yes. Um, and then she kind of seals the deal, so to speak, which I got to fast forward through. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and again, we're not and afraid of this movie. Yeah. <laughs> the spaceship comes in for a landing. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that's not symbolic of anything not at all um uh and, and then you get more and again i think i think this this swing scene is very classically Ko koji morimoto where you have this movement in space um yeah. if you've ever seen naruto and you've seen the scenes of like characters getting thrown you know over each other's shoulders and that kind of stuff that's koji morimoto's work that's very much I've, I've never heard of that series. Is it popular? <laughs> no. What no. is this narrative? It Naruto. seems to be obscure. I don't think I've heard of it. Yeah. Um, I know it's... Uh, now, quick, let me run away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, it's very obscure. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so you get more, and again, like you say, very much Hedge in love, strapping things to trees um, and getting power out of them. Little washu dolls. Yeah, washu dolls, which is <laughs> absurd. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but that's fine. Um, um, and so Tenchi finally realizes things are not right. And like you say, the absurd. And, I, and looking back over this, I didn't realize. The first time I thought they were basically, it was also basically blanks. But it's literally 1-1-1-1-1. One, one, dash, one, dash, one, one, and then just all nines for the balances. Yep, right. Um, like, oh, no, no, that's like somebody typed that, so to speak. It's, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and yeah, and it's, it's no, Tenchi's just really, really rich. <laughs> <laughs> That's all nine. He's yeah. got 999 billion yen. Oh. Doing just fine on that on that uh, artist salary. Yeah, I guess those sketches are really, yeah. they're rocking it up in uh, yeah. Saudi Arabia. There's rich oil princes well, love his drawings. And I also love the fact that um, we never see Haruna's job. Right. You know, she says she has this part-time job that makes the money, but we never have any hint of what that is. Um, Her job is being Tenchi's wife. Ex well, exactly, Apparently. right? Apparently. That is, that is very much the thing. Um, uh, whereupon it all starts to fall, fall apart um, as we, we finally get our first bit, uh, big climax moment, um, which, like a good Tenchi uh, Moyo movie, has multiple phases because we can't just have a simple climax. No. Um, we get this again... Whoever did the special effects scene for the cloud 
the rotating spinning cloud thing and the little tendrils coming off. They deserve some money for that. Yeah. Um, they uh, got their ten dollars and seventy-five yeah, cents an exactly. hour for it. They're <laughs> fine, pretty much. Um, and then we get a shining moment of awesome for Ryoko coming in and just you know literally teleporting out of out of space into there. Breaking the thing. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I love, you know, Aika's like on the ground. Like, ah, ah, I missed. <laughs> yeah, I missed. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> Didn't quite land that landing. And um, stick it. <laughs> and, and again, getting back to your point again, you know, the, the woman uh, next to her goes, Would you like some persimmons, Harna? Right, yeah. Just repeating the same thing. Um, that would creep me out too if I just <laughs> if I just showed up there. Would you like some her? Uh, that would creep me out too, Steve. If I'm watching this and you're in there offering <laughs> fresh persimmons to people, I'd be like, "How the what? Oh man!" Yeah. Um, Come on, Veritech. Give me a Veritech. Yeah. Here's a Veritech. <laughs> if, we're, if we're getting crazy wishes, hey. I want one now. Exactly. <laughs> um, and so you get the confrontation where initially Haruna tries to keep the act up. Um, and then realizes it's not working, so she just says straight up, leave. Get out of here. And I also find this very interesting. Um, uh, Ryoko um, uh, comes in. Did you notice this? Haruna looks, um, looks down and looks at Ryoko's shoes. Yeah. And then looks back up and tells her off. Why? How dare you wear you your, dirty your shoes, shoe, shoes, your street shoes, okay. in our house? And it's the pretext she needs, right? It's not a real thing, but it's like that's what I'm going to latch on to—that you've been rude to tell you off and out of the house. Um, it's it's just brilliant. Um, uh, where bunch of cast them back? Well, out. I think I think it's also interesting because if you look at Haruna as she appears in any of the other given mm-hmm. points in this, she wears very. Uh, I hate to we use the word dainty, mm. but she uses very feminine shoes. Mm-hmm. Her footwear, yeah. or the times you see her, she's wearing very mm-hmm. feminine shoes. Mm-hmm. And that, that I think, is not only just the yeah. shoes in the house. It is also her. She's assessing yeah. Ryoko. Yeah. That Absolutely. she, as Tenshi's wife, mm-hmm. is superior. Mm-hmm. She yep. is more feminine. Ryoko mm-hmm. is this thuggish, yep. like combat boot or mm-hmm. ugly what? chunky shoe wearing lady. Yep. So it's a, it's a sort of kind of an assessment yeah. as well. I'll be like, no, Tenshi would choose me because of how <clears throat> look at me yep. and look at you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, would you would uh, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I, mean, I always thought that when she looked at the shoes. She's reminded of herself because she was never proper for Yosho. And that's the whole oh, point that they that they ran away. And, yeah. and so Did they point that a, out in this movie or is that somewhere else that I've missed? I, I what because I know they ran away, but I I missed that she wasn't uh, good enough for him. I thought they Yeah, just, she was she was not of of dry royal class and and so she they the the, the relationship was never approved of. It wasn't just not being able to be his his wife, Joshua's wife, but not even to be a concubine. Yeah, so cuz she okay, she's okay. she's of, of, a part of, of yeah, I so she's of, dots. Okay. so she is of of a class that is not approved. And, I thought I thought it was just literally they loved each other and they were not supposed to be married and they took off. I didn't realize it was. I think part of it is that, divide in that respect is is that, but it's it's the context of of that Yosho isn't supposed to marry her no matter what. But the other part of the context is that that the reason they give him for her is that well <laughs> look at her she, she's 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 a commoner she's yeah. a commoner. So no, she's looking. It. So she has Tenchi, and she's looking at at Ryoko's shoes, and she realizes that Tenchi has Ooh. feelings for Ryoko, much yeah. the way that Yosho had feelings yeah. for her. That's a great point. Yeah. So you know, she's seeing Goliath. she's seeing that that oh, that she's yeah. losing Tenchi the way mm-hmm. that someone else had lost Yosho to yeah. her. Mm-hmm. You know, to her. That's a great That's insight. Wow. Yeah. Wow. No, I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. Um, There's a lot in just a pair of shoes. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which I think is why she turns. Where she's like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, yeah. I've got to completely reset this. Um, this is just not going not, not gonna to work. Um, uh, and so, yeah, it, it doesn't work. Um, 
and then we have her her standoff between the two of them. Um, and again, like you're saying, John, the first time you watch this, um, I was like, okay, here's where the fireworks fly, right? It's just the three of them in this empty space, and now we're gonna see, you know, giant energy beam battle royale. Oh, yeah. stuff, <laughs> and, no, no, Harley just says go. Like it's not gonna happen. But before she says that, she says the thing that's in like a lot of fans' minds: how different are we really? Um, you know, and obviously there, that's the, the standard villain thing, but also it's like, you guys are constantly trying to force your way of thinking onto Tenchi. You're constantly, you know, at his side complaining about him, all this kind of stuff. Really, I'm doing a very similar t thing to you, right? I'm attached to him the way you're attached to him. Um, uh, you know, and, and they say rightly, well, you, you've taken steps we did not. But still, you know, yeah, she is very much, you know... Um, uh, of a similar mold to the other girls. Yeah. Um, she just has the magical tree power cojones to do something about exactly. it. Exactly. She has the tree of happiness. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Right. The um, dying tree of happiness. <laughs> um, oh, wow. That's kind of different. Yeah. <laughs> and so Tenchi wakes up again. Um, and, uh, oh, you can't quite see it here. Um, uh, and I don't know. If, uh, uh, for those of you who watched it, I don't know who, who noticed this. I'm actually going to um, scale this up a little bit so folks can see. Oh, I can't quite show that. That's, that's annoying. Um, do, 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 do. Nope, I can't, I can't show that. Uh, there we go. That'll work. Um, when he wakes up, does anyone else, did anyone else notice the clue that Haruna it, it still has a problem? I see a ring. I see his hair. Exactly. Where did it he get looks the ring like... from? Right? Like he got the ring in the last real in the last version of reality. He did not wake up with that ring the first time. That is true. Mm -hmm. So she's forgetting. Right? Oh. And letting things kind of slip through because she's just not paying attention very well. Um, she's under a lot of stress. She's under she's a lot been, of stress. She's fairness. been dead for quite a while. Right? Exactly. <laughs> and her I... part time job is just, you know, mm -hmm. come on. Exactly. It doesn't. It, it pays really, really well, but it's not really all that stimulating. No, exactly. It's only nine hundred ninety nine million nine hundred ninety thousand nine hundred ninety nine yen a month. That's all. Yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> it's like pennies. Come on. You have to like <laughs> cook at your own home. You only right. occasionally go to a very empty family restaurant. Exactly, eat pasta. <laughs> um, uh, and, and again, so a again, not a lot of money, so you reuse sequences. But you reuse them wisely. You reuse them to creep the f out of your audience. Yeah. You know, oh shoot! You know, don't do this. Don't um, redo us. No, come on now. Right, exactly. Uh, and and then that's the thing is that then what they do is as soon as that plays out, Ryoko and Aika break right back in. Uh, like no, no, no. And even Aika goes, you know, ha, stuck the landing that time. Um, <laughs> and and comes in and they have another argument. Um, and this is that point we were talking about before where. Tenchi finally kind of realizes what's going on and is like, no, 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 no. Like, <clears throat> this is the wrong situation, wrong approach. You know, you guys need to go. Harun and I need to work this out. Like husband and wife, frankly. Um, um, I'm sorry, honey, you're dead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the, just the, the layout Look of your brother. Yeah. Um, that um, Aik and Ryoko, you know, fall down. Um, and it's a hard landing. And again, these characters all take a lot of knocks throughout the course of this universe. Yeah. And they are clearly in pain. Um, and Ryoko just lays out, you know, on her back, just like done. With her size 12 shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and size 8 shirt. Um, it should be pointed right. out. Um, <laughs> hey, hey, I'm not arguing about the shirt. Hey, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, just the Air Jordans. That would yeah. fit Shaq, or like, you know. <laughs> yeah, um, it's a very Ryoko outfit. Um, actually, there's another yes. thing I want to point out about this movie. Um, we talked about kind of the, the fan service of the outfits. Street clothes, right? Yeah. Um, there is very little in, in here about sensationalizing the characters. Um, yeah. Haruno wears this very plain outfit the entire time. Um, it's kind of remarkable how much restraint the movie shows in not trying to kind of commercialize the looks of the characters. Yeah, there's um, no micro skirts, there's no panty mm, shots, there's no yeah. really. Yeah. I mean, Aika, she wears, it's like, it looks like a trench coat, <laughs> yeah, like a yeah. semi-fitting <laughs> trench coat. I'm like, what is up with that? Easy to cosplay. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> Go buy me a London fog and show up with purple yeah. hair. I'd be like, I'm Ica. Look at exactly. me. <laughs> <laughs> but again, just the expression on Ryoko's face and those, those tears that glimmer in her eyes when she's just grieving, you know, and she realizes this might be it. This is, you know, Tenchi's decision, decided. And because, then again, you know, they've set this up. They've laid the groundwork where we know Tenchi, we, we know Ryoko understands the stakes. Yeah. Um, and she's willing to accept it, but it still hurts. Um, there's a great moment in Ephetel of Memories, um, where, which is an adaptation of a, of a visual novel. And what they did is they chose certain plot lines which go, and certain, you know, the main character ends up with certain girls and not others. And so there's a scene with, where he doesn't choose one of the girls and then goes and talks to her like through a door. And they have this long conversation about how, like, um, you know, you, you're going to be with her and not me. And there's a line where she's, where um, he goes, Bessie, I'm sorry. How do you, you know, Bessie, how do you feel? And she says, it hurts, but I'll get over it. Hmm. Um, and you need to be with her. Wow. Um, and it's not her realizing that, it's her realizing that for him, that's the right thing for him to do, you know? Wow. And so she's kind of giving him up in that very mature way of going, I don't like it, and emotionally I don't want this, but intellectually I recognize the right decision. And it's very much what Ryoko is doing here. Um, she's grieving, she goes, but yeah. Then she goes and gets Truck-Kun and runs <laughs> him down. <laughs> oh, yeah. such closure. Mm -hmm. um, and so again, another reset. She, he wakes up again. Um, and again, we, we, we cut through that again, where, where Tenchi goes, all right, Haruna, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, we, 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 gotta, we gotta address this. This is, this is not working. Let's talk about this like adults, <laughs> right? <laughs> 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 this is so refreshing in anime. Anyway, um, uh, so yeah, so they, they, they have the conversation about what's going on. Um, <sighs> So then we get Yosho in the tree. Grandpa's got to straighten this out. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is the tough thing, is again, he has to kill his first love, in a way. Um, this is the hard thing. And you see what it does to her. Like it, it She's in horrible pain. Yeah. Um, I also like that it, it causes the ribbon to loosen. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and so she becomes a little bit more more wild, if you will, you know, visually, yeah. um, as he's, you know, destroying the power that kept her there. But that is clearly um, also, and, and again, it's it's why it, it does kind of come come through, is that he's basically going, okay, in order to deal with this, I need to actually deal with this. Um, I, I killed you once by bringing you away from Jirai, <laughs> right. and now I'm finishing the job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, that sounds um, kind of brutal. <laughs> But it also, I tried to rent Truck Coon and they were yeah. booked out. Exactly. I, yeah. yeah. But what he does, but it's also not just killing her, it's allowing him to connect with her to say, hey, look, I was wrong. You know, I, or I was the cause of this and you need to get past it. And also, you need to stop hurting this person because of what you feel about me. And that I think is one of the most, most powerful moments in the film is where he's having this conversation and he basically goes, now please, was it, now please let my grandson go. Yeah. And she goes, oh crap, you're right. Like this isn't about him at all. <laughs> mm. Which why, I mean, now that you've explained that Harana, that the, the, the camellia tree is not her tree, right. that she's not Jirai tree people. Mm -hmm. It's weird as that. Statement sounds um, <laughs> accurate. It, it's, um, it's Shinto. Why then? I like I kind of somewhere in the back of my head, I'm like, okay, she, you know, whatever her tree, she wasn't connected to the dry power. They made this long journey, and she, he's strong enough with his connection to presumably the ship's tree that brought them there that he's right. fine. But she's away yeah. from her tree, so she lost power. She got sick and she died. Mm -hmm. What? Is, is there somewhere in this that I missed 
was she just sickly and that's just the long journey was the problem or so, is there some kind of was there some connection with the home world mm. that the further she got away she got sicker I, that's what i kind of didn't get that part it's not explained but here's here's what i have understood i have seen very few examples basically none in the tenchi universe of people taking jirai ships who are not Jirai. Right. Okay. I get the sense that normal people can't handle normal space travel on a Jirai ship. So he basically said, come with me, my love. I'm sure it'll be okay. But it is extremely stressful on the body because of whatever ridiculous magic powers are coursing right. through the ship or whatever. Um, and so she's just not able to handle that in that way. Again, I'm not sure, but well, that's kind each, of what I'm assuming. Well, each... each um... Jirai ship is based on a Jirai tree that is linked to a to its specific master, Jirai, is, person, Jirai, right. Jirai person who is usually of royalty mm -hmm. or of <clears throat> nobility or royalty. Mm -hmm. The common Jirai person doesn't have this tree. Right. So when you see Sasami in that scene where she it looks like you're mm -hmm. in the side of the trunk of a tree. Right. Okay, that's where they grow these trees. That's where that's you know where she accesses this this information and, and, and stuff like that. These trees go with them to help protect them and keep their their ability to stay youthful to almost immortality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's that's their tree. So for me, it, it it translates to in historical perspective perspective in real life perspective of people dying en route on journeys from like say europe to the new world people just can't handle those long voyages sometimes it's it's just too long there's too stressful it's okay. there's just not enough provisions or whatever he tried to bring a tree to attach to her but it did not take but when she died he planted the tree over her body and she was her spirit and, the, the tree. It, it and this is the, the other tree. thing: is that the tree chooses you, right? Okay, yeah, that's right. Okay. That's right. You that's right. can't yeah. just give somebody mm -hmm. a, tree a tree and make right. it happen, right? right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Which means one of the implications is that it is possible that over time, <clears throat> the tree, or perhaps in that moment, the tree saw what was going on with Haruna and kind of accepted her in that moment, um, and kind of gave her the power to do this thing with Tenji. Um, yeah. But yeah, but it, it, there, there was no like direct connection up at that point, presumably. Okay. Yeah, so, so I was saying, cause it, like light speed travel or whatever, I can understand mm -hmm. if like, you know, Tenshi's grandfather arrives and he's still youthful because of his tree, and then like mm -hmm. Haru is like eight billion years old. <laughs> right. Yeah. The tree didn't it, give her the same from, sort of space travel thing. It, so. It's almost like that scene from Planet of the Apes, the original movie, mm -hmm. um, where they wake up in the spaceship and the woman's dead because the hibernation mm -hmm. chamber didn't work. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's kind of um, like that. It's, it's and, just, yeah, and, there's just. Go ahead. It should also be, be pointed out that there's lots of exceptions to the tension universe where it's like, this just yeah. didn't work this one time. You know, um, yeah. so who knows? All right. Um, yeah. But, but yeah, I, I, I think that all makes sense. Um, so yeah, so uh, Yosho shows up, and, and Captain Laser, you're absolutely right. They, they made a lot of effort in this to make uh, young Yosho look a lot like Tenchi uh, and to really yeah. drive home that, that, that physical uh, connection between the two. Um, and so, um, uh, yeah, they finally go back, and we get it again. The, the scene between Yosho and or Ryoko and Aika, and I'm tearing up a little bit because this is where Ryoko goes. No, you're the stronger one, basically. Like, you're the one. Um, um, and so Ryoko comes back in, and this is a, again one of those scenes where I think a lot of that I know a lot of Tenchi fans were hoping for someday in the franchise. Uh, <laughs> I never thought they'd actually get, um, which is a scene between. Just Ryoko and Tenchi, um, where she's like, "I've come for you, for you," and he's like, "Yep, like I, I want you, like I, I, I want you to come get me and take me out of here." Um, and it's time to go. Um, and again, I, I love Ryoko's vulnerability here, where she just collapses on herself in relief, um, uh, and it's just like, "I, I wasn't sure, like I, I didn't know what you would, what you would do, what you would say," and I'm so relieved. Um, uh, and then, of course, she has to, you know, twist the knife a little bit. Of, well, you know, I, but I, you know, I didn't come just for you. Like, I just want to see if it was going to happen. I, eh, <laughs> right? Um, 
Uh, but yeah, and so he, he takes her off. I love this, I, I, I love that they t uh, set the time to A, show that he put the rings back. Yeah. Right, like no, I'm, I'm moving on. But also that we see, we see the camellia with a petal falling. Like just all of that symbolism is just perfect. Um, um, and so, you know, she takes him away. Which the the vase in that one mm -hmm. shot that you have there, right, um, is reminiscent of like a Buddhist gravestone. Yep, absolutely. So mm -hmm. she's that that's behind because yep. she's dead. And it's also symbolizing the tree, right? The tree next yep. to the camellia, right? Like this is how all this is arranged. It's a grave. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, uh, and there's also a little bit of of uh, you know, the sense of Yosho and Haruda standing next to the tree as well. If you want to go that far, um, but yeah, no, absolutely. It, it, she is, she's done. Uh, oh, uh, it's over. And then we get this, frankly, very sad image of the tree just cracked in half. Yep. Um, that is not a pretty image. Um, it is just torn. Um, this is ugly gash in the tree. Um, um, because that's you know he had to do that. And then we do see Haruna, as you mentioned. We do see her her sort of force ghost appear yeah. there to indicate that she's not alive. And then we get the slightly questionable, uh, you know, follow on to that where he re also remembers his other wife as a young child. But we're not going to think too hard about that one. Yeah. Um, uh... Well, I wonder with the death Moving of the... Right of the... Along. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> with the death of the grave camellia, mm -hmm. um, Tenshi's grandfather says he's he planted camellias. Mm -hmm. Everywhere, you know, he's Johnny Camellia Tree. He just planted him everywhere. It when she appears in the camellia mm -hmm. at the end, the camellia is dead. Yeah, he's he's split it down. That's done. Mm -hmm. I wonder if she is able to appear mm -hmm. by some latent power that's in the other camellia. Mm -hmm. So as much as Washu mm -hmm. sets yeah. up like five point power generator to do things mm -hmm. whether the camellias in some very small extent provide just enough power for her to not be just zip gone and don't know. not to be too sad but also this is yosho seeing all this we don't know if yosho is just imagining it oh yeah that could be too it could just be that he's remembering his past wives and you know that's all oh, um, that's terribly sad that's that that could be it and terribly um, creepy for the one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and so we get this, uh, this, you know, we have to have the denouement with everybody happily, you know, standing around doing a Cooking thing. yams. Cooking yams. Or, or sweet potatoes, right? Yeah. Um, and of course, the Sami is the one who knows who, uh, when they're done. Um, but then we get that, that, this final sequence, which again, I think a lot of fans were kind of waiting for, um, where it's just the two of them, right? Um... Like, it's Ryoko and Aika together again, and it's very clear, like, this is it. Um, that um, these are the two that are, have kind of finally synchronized. And again, Tenchi hasn't chosen in, right. in, in, in an explicit sense, but it's very clear that this is this is how it's synchronized. Um, the, the the affection is clear. Yeah. And, and, and you know, he's... And the, the silence is comfortable. There is yeah. no distractions. Right. They're just happy to be with each other, which is in direct contrast. Direct contrast to should I talk about the end of, of Tenchi in Tokyo? Uh, Will we get to the Tenchi in Tokyo? Wow. Should, should I? Should I? Yeah. Should I bring that up? No, oh, you know what? Man. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no yeah. for people chatting. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I'm yeah. strike that. Mm -hmm. Are we? Well, are You're we watching watch Tenchi in Tokyo? Well, it's about if you'd like episodes. to. Um... Well, no, I mean, that for, for a <laughs> review, are we watching it? But I, I'm. You're asking me <laughs> if you want me to watch Tenchi. <laughs> like, like, you know, for a review, <laughs> not just for the enjoyment of watching it. I, for any saying. reason, um, I would totally be up to, uh, for that. Um, I would probably go back and I'd probably have us go back and watch some other things first, just for kind of context. Um, but yeah, I, um, certainly. So, well, if it so, shows up on the roster, then yeah. why don't we save that discussion sure. for so, that time? To Steve's point, the ending of Tenji in Tokyo is a very interesting contrast to this ending. Um, 
um, just in terms of where that story goes and kind of how it all yeah. ends up. Um, Tenchi decides to become a, a celibate Shinto priest, and he wanders off into the woods. Oh, brilliant. Sure, and, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you want to believe that? Go I mean, for it. By the end of I, Tenchi Moyo, I'm sure he's ready to do that. But anyway, um, <laughs> um, yeah, and then we get this slightly abrupt ending um, of the two of them sort of standing there and then just credits. Um, and I had completely forgotten uh, that we get this beautiful end credit song. Um, I actually have the soundtrack because I just love all the music in this. Um, and then we get this end credit sequence, which yeah. is all moments from the Tenchi TV series, Tenchi Universe. Of course, right. Um, and it's all the moments between Tenchi and Ryoko in that cool. and how he finds Ryoko and all that kind of stuff. Um, including, and I don't know if I'm going to find more kissing. it. Uh, there it is. Um, more anyone who's Yay. seen Tenchi Universe remembers this moment in Tenchi Universe. Um, of Ryoko Eaton, sorry. Um, which again reminds us of how far Ryoko will go for Tenchi. Um, yep. you know, and it's it's like yeah, like this this all comes together. Uh, and again, to be clear, if if you think Tenchi belongs to somebody else, you are totally that is totally understandable. This is one timeline. This is one direction to take. Um, I'm not saying that you know other approaches are necessarily wrong. But I just love how they Team Ayaka, <laughs> Team Ryoko. Yeah. Here, yeah. Here's the Twilight thing here. <laughs> exactly, yes. Um, you know, much less the arguments for some of the other girls. Um, yeah, what happened to Team Sasami? Yeah. Yeah. Team Washu? In, in fairness, you know. Uh, um, oh, oh, yeah. You, know, you need to wa oh, wait there's six years. Adult, wait, yeah. wait eight years. But, you know, Sasami is definitely, you know, <laughs> the least crazy of them all. Right, you know, in um, her own special way. Exactly. Um, although, well, that's a whole other thing. Um, <laughs> well, isn't in Intenshi Moyo the OVA where Washu stops being little Washu? Yeah, absolutely. That's right, and she becomes adult Washu. Yeah. Um, remember, Ryoko, as in appearance, not just. Yes. Not just... Remember, Ryoko is her daughter. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you you see Washu. I'm looking at John's face. Went, yep. wait, what? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> yeah. So okay, I mean, we'll, we'll get to it. We, I see. I think we see the kids in Zobia too. Um, yeah. Washu is intention has intentionally the body of a child. She mm -hmm. has taken on that form very much for a reason. She is an adult. Um, but there are whole reasons behind all that. Okay, I, I thought she was just like any number of anime where it's like, <laughs> oh, look at the 10-year-old. Oh, no, I'm 25. I'm a um, teacher. Or like, yeah, uh, like... Um, uh, so that's Tenchi Forever. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, just a, a, a remarkable little film, I think. Um, any final thoughts from you guys? I've enjoyed um, watching having watched this. <laughs> <laughs> having watched this for um, third time? Mm, good. Third or yeah. time? Um, uh, it, it wasn't, it, you know, it's, it's one of those things where I didn't really uh, discover anything new mm, so much sure. as it was, so much as it was um, watch, watching something that was like, you know, watching a, a, a movie you haven't seen in a long time that you really enjoy and it's just kind of comfortable and and it's fun and, you, you know, you get it, you understand it. And it's just, it, it fits in and makes you think about other things like it actually makes me want to go back and pull out the Tenchi Universe and, yep. and and watch that. If for nothing else than the end credits, like that surprise. I actually no no I take it back. This is the first time I actually watched the end credits ah. scenes mm -hmm. uh, for the first time because actually because normally I don't. Pre MCU, we just didn't do those <laughs> exactly, things. Yeah. You know, now that we watch the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we we are now trained to go. Wait a minute, there might be something at the end. So now I, I like actually, you know, wait and watch it and watch the whole thing. And um, but yeah, it's it's it is the tension movies are generally speaking very different from the TV shows and the mm -hmm. OVAs, yeah, uh, intentionally. But this one is very different from all of them mm. and to, to me and just because of the, of the tone and the lack of action and that this is a love story mm -hmm. yeah not quite. again it's not about tension in being in love mm -hmm. yeah exactly yeah I, I found it very watchable and but again as soon as i've as i've indicated there's like pieces parts that would have been helpful yeah 
to have yeah. been plugged into mm. to have like sort of oriented the movie in time and space so but still very watchable cool. i enjoyed it yeah um this is one of the other problems with tenchi is that not only are there multiple interrelated pieces they don't always intermesh very well <laughs> so <laughs> sometimes deferring to something but also like i'm not so sure that the staff even remembers all the little details like <laughs> oh that connects to this yeah. thing but that was because of this oh yeah uh, oh well <laughs> and then there's a ah, film's already in the can. Then... <laughs> yeah, okay, uh-huh, yeah. Uh, um, cool. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. Uh, take a quick break, and we will talk about the anime news and other things going on. Um, so we will see you in a moment. 